In this tutorial, we're going to cover deep etching. Now, deep etching is one of those things which most retouchers would rather avoid because sometimes it can be a little bit tedious. For example, just imagine you were given a bicycle to deep etch and you've got all those spokes and ribbons and so on and so forth which you've got to draw a path around and that can take forever sometimes. However, with most retouching, there always seems to be some deep etching involved. So I'm going to show you not only how to deep etch, but the best way to go about it. So the first thing we need to do is go into our Paths palette and click on the new path icon, Path 1. Get onto our pen tool by hitting the P key. And I always like to make sure that I have this option ticked, which is up here, which is to exclude overlapping path areas. And that's so when you deep etch something, to say I go around the outside of Rebecca's body here, and then when I draw a path around the inside of her arm here, when we make a selection of that path, that overlapping path, which is sitting on top of the outside path, is going to be excluded when we turn that path into a selection. So I'm going to zoom in, command space bar, click and drag. And when you deep etch, all you're doing is drawing a path around a couple of pixels inside of the outside of the area that you want to deep etch. And so you can see that I'm drawing a path just a few pixels in. And although it takes a bit of, little bit of practice, you'll, you'll understand that once you put a point down with your pen tool and hold it down and then pull out, this anchor point, or rather this handle which you're pulling out, is going to dictate what that path is doing. And also it's going to dictate the direction of the path when you put your next point down. For example, that path is looking pretty good. However, if I pull this anchor point all the way out here and then try to put another point just underneath it, that path, as you can see, juts out because it's trying to follow the direction of the handle of the previous point. So if I now want to alter the handle of the previous point, I can just hold down the Option key and click and drag that point in to correct it. Now, if I want to and the same goes with the next point here. If I want to extend the handle here, option click at the end of the handle and pull it out. And so I'll continue deep patching. 